What's going on, Nerd Squad, and welcome back to Top 10 Nerd. I'm your host, Johnny Rogers, and if you happen to be new here, we put out daily content on all things nerd, so if you're down with that, then tap the subscribe button to see more. Plus, leave us a comment down below with which superhero origins is your favorite. Now, while you ponder that, let's jump into today's list of the top 10 superheroes with the most tragic origins. Ooh, I hope I don't cry. In at number 10, Doctor Strange. Dr. Stephen Strange was once a world-renowned surgeon. With such a high-ranking position in his field, many viewed him to be a bit of an egotistical jerk from time to time. In a freak car accident that nearly took his life, the doctor woke up in a hospital bed with his hands floating in casts before his very eyes. His entire profession depended on just how steady his hands were, and now with such terrible nerve damage, he would never be able to operate on patients ever again. You can imagine the psychological toll that this would play on in your brain, having your entire livelihood ripped away from you after one accident. Luckily in his search for a cure, which just seemed like a pipe dream at the time, he soon found himself in the Himalayas. After meeting the Ancient One and undergoing rigorous training, he was finally able to let go of the pain that this accident had caused him. In at number 9, Superman. We all know the story of Superman, but the majority of people gloss over just how tragic this origin truly is. Perhaps it's because after his ship crash landed on Earth, he was raised by such a whole some family that fostered him and his alien powers. When you really think about it though, his home planet had exploded, which completely wiped everyone that loved him. A whole world full of people just like him was now gone. He now has the awful task of being raised in a world where he is the obvious outcast. Imagine finding out that you were adopted and then discovering that you're this mysterious alien. It's hard enough to discover your own life's purpose, but for Clark Kent, most of the time he would be dealing with split personalities his entire life. He has to be both Clark Kent, the average human, while simultaneously exploring his powers to rid the planet of evil. In at number 8, Daredevil. As the story goes in the first issue of the 19th 64 Daredevil series, a young Matt Murdock is walking home from school when in the distance he sees trouble brewing for an elderly man. Little did the man know, a truck was heading in his direction and death was knocking at his door. Not on Matt's watch though. In a heroic act, the teenager throws himself in front to save this elderly man. In the process of doing such a selfless act though, his eyes are sprayed with these radioactive chemicals. The man was saved, Matt survived, but the chemicals had left him permanently blind. Nothing says tragic like a teenager with his whole life in front of him being told by a doctor that he would be blind for life. Luckily this is the comic book world so he was able to spin this into a strength and become the superhero that we know and love as Daredevil. However in any other world this story of a hero sacrificing himself for the betterment of others is inherently a tragic tale. In at number 7, Spider-Man. The majority of these tragic stories begin with the hero having no powers for which a tragic occurrence then leads to them either discovering or developing them. For Peter Parker, he had already been bitten by a radioactive spider that gifted him with his new powers. Although with his newfound powers, he believed that this was his way to make some money in show business. However, with this distraction now in his life, it pulled him away from being at home to watch over his elderly Aunt May and Uncle Ben. As fate would have it, an intruder burst into the home, attempting to rob the place, only to fire a single fatal shot at Uncle Ben. Peter largely blamed Uncle Ben's death on himself for being too late to save him, even tossing his Spider-Man attire into a closet wishing that he had never left. This is a tragic story not only because Peter takes the full blame of this freak occurrence, but it soon fills him with vengeance which is not a great way to start a hero's journey. In at number 6, Dr. Manhattan. Born as Jonathan Osterman, the doctor had lived a very normal life. It's July of 1959 and Dr. Osterman was in love with a woman named Janie Slater. She was a physicist like John and at 30 years old he had his whole life in front of him. The two were first introduced to each other by a good friend of John's from college named Wally Weaver. After leaving the intrinsic field laboratory one day with Wally and Janie, John realizes that he left his watch inside. Little did John know was that the intrinsic field room was on a timer and when he entered the door closed behind him locking John inside. 
When he tries to open it, Waldy is on the other side and is quickly turning very pale. Waldy realized that there was nothing that they could do to save him. And after being blasted by radiation, his colleagues watched helplessly as it essentially just vaporized him. This tragedy could be the origin of when Manhattan really started to separate himself from the rest of humanity. Additionally, he was blamed for the death of his friend Wally, who would pass away from cancer 20 years later. Man, that's tragic. And at number 5, Rocket Raccoon. Imagine a little raccoon running free, rummaging through trash cans, and building a home in the forest. Now, take those innocent beginnings and throw in an unknown, creepy, mad scientist into the mix. This is Rocket's tragic origins. Once a free animal doing his thing, he was kidnapped and experimented on. First, they surgically attached cybernetic implants and then gave this innocent animal the mental capacity for not just self awareness, but consciousness as well. Then, the newly armed and murderous raccoon became a violent space pirate known simply as just 89P1. Never a good start when your new name starts with numbers. Combined with the psychological effect this would have on his new identity, Rocket was also aware that he was the only one of his kind. Now he leads the lonely life of being possibly the universe's only talking raccoon. In at number 4, Spawn. Typically the rule of thumb when it comes to origins is that the more terrifying the hero, the more tragic their story must be. Spawn fits this formula to a T. Born Albert Francis Simmons, Al was a contract killer and after being betrayed by his best friend, he was murdered on the job. Soon the once highly capable CIA operative is having his soul sent to the bowels of hell. And while there he strikes up a deal with a demon allowing him to return back to earth. However, he never returned in the way that he left. Instead, he was a disfigured demonic entity known as Spawn. To make matters worse and beyond tragic, in the five years that he had been dead, his wife remarried. Although she didn't just marry anyone, she married the man that killed Al while also letting this killer father a child? Needless to say, Spawn was more than a little bummed out about this, and not to mention this deal he struck up with his devil was really a ruse to further the demon's unholy war against all life. In at number 3, Batman. As sad as Superman's story was and the whole not knowing his parents thing, a much more tragic story would be knowing them, loving them, and losing them right before your eyes. This is Bruce Wayne's story for all of eternity. He must live with the recurring nightmare of watching his entire life be destroyed in a dark alleyway. Something that would mentally break even the strongest of human beings. When a common street thug robbed the Waynes at gunpoint, they refused to give in to the criminal's demands, causing the man to shoot them both, leaving a young boy alone with his deceased parents in the dangerous streets of Gotham. This was a pivotal moment in Bruce's life and became the obsessive driving factor for really everything. He began training day after day seeking to destroy the entire criminal underworld of Gotham that took his parents. In at number 2, Rorschach. Ranking near the top as one of the more tragic origin stories, we have Walter Kovacs. Born into a terrible home, his father was extremely abusive and his mother was a prostitute. Walter's parents never allowed him to truly experience the world. As such, his view was that the majority of life on earth had evil intentions. His father would mercilessly beat him while also taking away any form of education in his life. Ironically, Walter was born as a very intelligent child who actually was excelling in his classes and had displayed interest in religious education. His father's violence beat any longing for knowledge out of him though, turning his life into a series of heinous crimes. For example, at just 10 years old, he shoved a lit cigarette into the eye of an older child who was bullying him, leaving the boy partially blinded and sending Walter to jail. This was the turning point where he became the homeless vigilante who wears a literal psychiatric experiment for a mask and goes by the name Rorschach. Last but not least in our number one spot, Eric Draven. This makes our number one spot because the tragedy in this comic book stretches beyond the pages and into the author's real life. The character of Eric Draven in the story of The Crow is extremely dark and was the way for James O'Barr to channel his anger and pain of losing his fiance to a drunk driver. In the story, Eric and his girlfriend Shelly are returning from a romantic vacation when their car breaks down on the side of the road. A gang notices and decides to capitalize on the couple's misfortune. After shooting Eric in the head, he He's forced to watch them brutally beat and murder his girlfriend before he too finally dies. Soon Eric is resurrected from the dead, given the gift and curse of immortality while being guided by a supernatural crow. Eric then begins tracking down each of these thugs and makes them each suffer the same brutality that his girlfriend went through. So tragic. 
I think I might go cry into a pizza now. But first, that has been the top 10 superheroes with the most tragic origins. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by tapping that like and subscribe button. Plus, leave us a comment down below with your thoughts on this list. And for more videos like this one, all you gotta do is click that playlist on the screen. It's really that easy. From Top 10 Nerd, I'm Johnny Rogers. Until next time, take care.